Hello, this is Sigma Stream. We are back in Space Engineers, and we today we are going to demo a new concept called the GPS missile system. We have it in front of us right here. It's the GPS missile fighter. It's got two modules on each wing, left and right, and these are used to calculate GPS coordinates from where the uh, modules are pointed at. More on this later. There's also the uh, pilot seat and the co-pilot seat. Pilot sees in front. His job is to control the uh, weapon systems and also flying the craft. The co-pilot's job is important, and his job is to um, control the systems, which I will now show you. So we're in the cockpit, currently orient oriented at the Easy Start Two station. Pull up the command console. Um, the way this thing works is with uh, two remote control blocks one for each module, you enter the remote control block, enter the camera, and then you point them both at whatever you're trying to obtain GPS coordinates for. And with that information, you uh, can calculate using, you, you press three and then uh, it calculates the GPS coordinates of the target and puts it in that um, puts in an LCD panel called site coordinates and I'll show you a demonstration All right so we're in the left module we're gonna line it up real quick Right, we're in the process of lining it up. Now there's a bit of an issue. With these modules, I cannot actually use the mouse to do the lining up. And for some reason, there's no cross here on the camera. Well, let's hop into the right module and uh, begin lining up the target as well. All right, trying to get it, trying to get it. Almost there. All right, we got it fairly. A little more. Uh, I think I'm okay with this position right here. Like I said, it's incredibly difficult to aim this thing because there's no crosshairs. If there are crosshairs, the system could be made to be a lot more accurate, but for whatever reason, my camera's not displaying crosshairs. After that, you just press three. It'll calculate the coordinates and spit them out into this site coordinates um, group where you just click enter public text to see. I'm going to uh, plot the GPS coordinates so we can see how uh, close in we actually are to the target. Now, keep in mind, there's a fair bit of inaccuracy with this system simply due to the fact that um, no crosshairs. So it might not give us exact um, coordinates for now. But, you know, it is still in, kind of in the proof of concept phase. But it works fairly well. Alright, now let's see what we got. Exit the control panel. And, and we're in spectator mode. And let's see, where did we, where did the target end up? Oh, there it is, down in there. It's not exactly where we were aiming at. But it was fairly close. Definitely within the line of sight, the line of sight of where we were aiming. So it's not entirely bad. This system could definitely be improved, but for now, this is the closest thing we have to a rangefinder and the ability to figure out our enemy's coordinates from ourselves at long range. All right, so now I'm going to take you over to the complete system. The way this is supposed to work is you're supposed to fly close to the enemy base, um, plot their GPS coordinates. The co-pilot's job is to plot the GPS coordinates, make sure that they're accurate. You might have to do some fly rounds outside of the enemy's turret range. 
and you fly back to the GPS launcher platform, which is survival capable. And then you copy and paste from um, site coordinates into the group called inner target GPS coordinates, the public text fields. And that will actually give you um, GPS fix for the missiles to fire. Once you've copied and pasted that information, it's just as simple as exiting the control panel and pressing two to begin unloading the missiles. As we can see, the first missile is being generated right now. It's generated using the conveyor system. And, in, and it's in flight. All right. Generating our second missile. All right, so the way this system works is the missiles will fly out to a certain distance. They will turn and orient themselves towards the target and they will fly in a straight line path towards the GPS coordinates that we plotted. Um, the coordinates that were actually plotted for this test were coordinates um, plotted using the parallax system. So, you know, if you have, uh, if, you know, if we had a bit more time, I could get it a little bit more accurate. That's the purpose of the flybys to make sure that you are in fact accurate. And the first missile impacts. These missiles are primarily made out of blast shields. Um, they're used. They're supposed to be used in more of like a precision strike type of scheme where you might target some of the enemy, a few of the enemies, like key resources, like assemblers, refineries, anything exposed. Begin pelting them with missiles. Or if you can gain access to their base, it's just a simple matter of walking next to whatever walking up to whatever you want to target and you know plotting their GPS coordinates and yeah that's the system in a nutshell um, be sure to check out the work workshop link um, that I've supplied maybe give it a try yourself maybe you can, you can uh, get the parallax aiming system a little bit more accurate and yeah just have fun well it's been a great video this is Sigma Strain and you all have a